We're talking with Brett Cassort, who is an artist that works mostly in oil. Tell us a little bit about your background. Hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, my background uh, stems from back when I was a child, you know, really how I got my start was um, my, I was the youngest of four. My brothers uh, and my father were hunters, so they would have the outdoor life magazines and nature magazines around the house. Um, I really got my start drawing all the animals. Um, I was just intrigued by, you know, the natural world and what I saw, and I would I would sit there and draw, and eventually that you know worked into arts art class in school um you know through high school through college um not focusing on that but kind of taking them and then uh things really got serious uh, when i finally went to fine art school at the, the klein academy here in la mm -hmm. um, and you were under the mentorship of cheryl klein Yes, I studied with Cheryl uh, for about five years, um, very extensively. We, um, she makes you go back to like classical foundation, and I did that for um, for the first couple of years, and then she makes you do uh, the classical um, reproductions. So I did ended up doing a a Caravaggio and a Rembrandt mm -hmm. and I had always wanted to do clouds and landscapes and whatnot and I was sort of intimidated before I had that skill set of clouds and, and all the complexities of those and what turned out to be you know after I did the classical foundation and the the master reproductions, uh, clouds didn't seem that intimidating. So wow, that's amazing. So and she is a master of clouds, Cheryl Klein. She is. She's she's world renowned in galleries, um, and that was the great thing about studying with her for five years is I could, you know, pick her brain and and see how she did techniques and, and study intensively with her. And I still, I still talk to her. I still call her my friend and my mentor. And she's only a text or a call away when I need her, so. That's great. So how did you go from the Klein Academy and studying with Cheryl uh, about landscapes and clouds? How did that turn into the road series? Well, the short answer is um, I spend a lot of time in my car. <laughs> um, I have a dashboard uh, mount for my camera, and I was just intrigued by life on the road and thinking about the commonalities of a lot of people. Um, I guess we're all on a road trip somewhere in life. We're all going somewhere. Um, whatever we're doing in our own lives you make decisions on a daily basis and that takes you in all kinds of directions so that really kind of was the was the originator of the, the road trip paintings combining that with the landscapes and the clouds and various uh, influences that I've had over the years Right, um, and there, there, in your work, there seems to be many different kinds of roads. And is that just depend on the geography of where you happen to be when you see something? Or is it more than that? It's, yeah, it really is the geography because, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, whether I'm in the city or um, traveling for work, I travel to Vegas a lot uh, from California, so you go through the, the mountains and the desert and everything in between. And 
at different times of day, the light is different. So it really can result in a lot of different aspects of how I come about the roads. Um, that's great on a technical level. What happens is your, your work seems to inspire a lot of people emotionally. They stop in gallery exhibits that you're involved in. They stop, they walk by, maybe they come back. They take a second or third look and then they just kind of stand and stare and have some kind of emotional response. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I've had, uh, I've had a lot of people comment about um, my work reminds them of road trips they've taken throughout their lives. Uh -huh. um, people connect on that level. Um, I've also had people be emotionally taken aback by reminding them of personal experiences in their own lives, um, whether it was a positive one or um, a not so positive one. Um, but it kind of stokes that emotion. And, and in the conversations I've had, um, people have asked like my influence and, and all that. And I think about from an early age, one of my first influences was uh, Salvador Dali. And I found I could really look at one of his pieces, whether it was uh, Temptation or um, Persistence of Memory. And I could look at it so many times and find something different, um, really depending on where I was in my life. And that's how I kind of view artwork as to what emotional responses does it evoke in me. And that's really with the road trip paintings. Um, it's what I like to, to see and hear from people that they can look at my paintings. They can have their own experience wherever they are in life, whatever they're doing. Um, and it can remind them of something they're going through currently or something from the past. And that's that. So tell us a little bit about not just your, your influences, but what goes into a decision to make, uh, a, to paint a particular landscape that you've run across because the possibilities are endless. Right. So right. how do you, narrow down something and decide this is what I'm going to do and um yeah fortunately um sometimes I come across the the I guess the thought of I don't want to be repetitive and and all that and really what I find um other than being out on the road and and different times of the day um there's other influences that I draw from. Uh, one is uh, I watch a lot of films. So um, cinematography, I always really pay attention to. Um, filmmakers like Guillermo del Toro, um, to, to name one of many. Uh, just the way they capture a shot or the way they use light um, you know, the light and the dark balance. Uh, I also really love, um, like vintage photography and the old kind of sienna and white. Um, I guess I really am drawn to that and, and I've done some sienna series paintings of road trips. There's one behind you. Yeah, actually. Hollywood mm -hmm. land. Yeah. Um, so, and, and do you, um, you start out with an idea uh, from maybe some image, some cinematographic, cinema, cinematographic, excuse me, um, impulse. And then as you're doing the work in your process, does it change a lot? It does. It really does. Um, not all ideas are 
make good paintings, I guess you could say. Uh, I've been, in, you know, sometimes you're in the process and you have ideas and what I've done is uh, like I'll have a photo that I've taken um, and I'll combine that with an idea that I've seen in a movie or um, or seen another photo of or something. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm constantly battling with uh, what's going to go on in the skyline and what's going to go on in the landscape part of it. Um, so a lot of times I'll combine ideas, I'll put two or three or four pictures together and not all of them work all the time. So there's constant uh, change. Um, sometimes I have to whitewash and start over. Uh, sometimes it's just a little tweak here and there, a different color or something. So that's what uh, the, the journey of a painting is definitely goes in stages. Yeah. Um, do you see yourself painting outside this genre? I have started a little bit. Um, one of my other influences is Gerhard Richter. Um, the wonderful abstract squeegee paintings that he's done. And um, I started to kind of do those early on in, in my career. Um, and now I've started to sort of do hybrid abstract landscape road trip paintings where you know the sky will be more of an abstract uh, against the realism of the landscape or vice versa so um, yeah so it, it's kind of it's always evolving different styles different ideas um, it changes as you do absolutely you never want to stay in the same spot so, <laughs> so what's next for you where can we see your work my website is uh, brettcasort.com. Uh, that's where all my, you can see all the inventory that I have. Um, and I'd really love uh, to see you at a future show. Um, also for any shows beyond the LA Art Show coming up this year, um, you can see those on my website too. I have a upcoming schedule. So hope you can come out and see me and we can have uh, conversations in person and you can see my work. So I look forward to it. It sounds like you really like talking about your work and how it affects the viewer when you're at these live shows. I like hearing how it affects other people more than I like talking about. <laughs> <my own. laughs>